This is super duper easy. All you need is a brush, a comb, some hairspray, elastics, and bobby pins or bun pins. Now, if your dancer has really thick hair, let's say he has a lot of hair and it's pretty thick, um, I like to straighten it first, specifically the front pieces so that they lay nicely when you pull them back. You don't have to, but if they have really thick hair or curly hair, it might make it a little bit easier. So the first thing you're gonna do is Find the middle of their head, it wants to be in line with their nose, and part it down the middle. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna pull it back into a ponytail. Okay, so what you wanna make sure you do is you have an elastic the same color as their hair, or around the same color. Uh, this way, if their hair falls out, it won't be super noticeable, they won't have a bright pink hair elastic. And then we wanna just pull it from here into a little ponytail. something very important from here. We want to make sure we don't have any flyaways, no wispies. We've got quite a few flyaways right now. Um, this is the hairspray I prefer, I like to use. It is got to be glued, it will be like glue. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna spray it in their hair, really focusing on the front sections so that they lay nice and flat. And then from here, once that's in, you take your comb and brush these layers back. To come nice and flat into your ponytail. And from here, I take the hair elastic out and fix any little lumps or bumps that we have going on in the pony while still making sure that these front pieces lay nice and flat going behind our ears. So that's the first part, there's our ponytail. No bumps, no lumps. We got a couple flyaways still, but it's a Saturday. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna throw it into a bun. Now, I prefer to use bun pins. These are bun pins. You can use bobby pins also. The bun pins, the thicker ones, are a little bit more uh, stable and a little more sturdy. They just help keep it in a little bit stronger. What you're gonna do from there is you're gonna take this ponytail and twist it. Wrap it around there. Elastic. You just take their bun pins. I like to put them into the bun, into their hair, and then you push them into their head. Okay, do that again. So from here I'm going into the bun, into her hair, and then back into the bun. And we do that all the way around. And then from there, you wanna grab a hairnet. Get one that matches your dancer's hair color. If you have a blondie, it's gonna be a little bit harder to uh, find them. They can be a little tricky to find around. I know, I'm pretty sure Edie sells them though. We're gonna put this around the bun. And then you're gonna pin this in some more. When you think you have enough pins, put two or three more. When they're jumping up and down and dancing and running around, it has a tendency to fall out, okay? And then from here, hairspray, hairspray, hairspray. Make sure this is secure. Make sure all the flyaways are away. And she is all done. 
Easy peasy, middle part into a low bun. Nice and simple. If you have a hair piece to put in your dancer's hair, I know some of our dancers this year have headbands, some of our mini ballerinas. A trick to getting things like a headband to stick in is underneath here where this fabric is, I've cut two little small holes. You can't really see them just flat, but if I take my bobby pin, I can stick these through the holes and you can see there's just enough holes for my bobby pins to fit through. So an easy way to get a headband to stick on this way is if you put your bobby pins through and then put it on to your dancer's head and then just feed them, that's wrong way, and then just feed them through the holes and make a little crisscross action. Makes it much easier to get a headband like this to stay on your dancer's head. And if you can get one bobby pin in, you can take the second one and crisscross it over the first, and that's how we keep all of our hair accessories really staying in place. This way, our hair piece will stay in place, it won't fall out. You're gonna wanna do one on each side of the headband. So put two little holes here, two little holes here, throw them in and crisscross them, and that will keep this from falling off their head. Again, if you think you have enough bobby pins, throw in two more. Things have a tendency of flying off dancers' heads as they go around and dance up and side down, especially in acro if they're flipping upside down. If you have something like a hair bow, usually they have a clip on the back, same thing. You're gonna wanna clip it in. Usually they're gonna be up here or over to the right. Um, and then you're gonna wanna use bobby pins and crisscross them. Crisscrossing them makes it like they're locking into place and use those to clip them into their hair to keep them in nice and secure. It will end up looking kind of flat on their head, but on stage or from a video, you won't be able to tell. And that's the end of how to do our middle part into a low bun. Uh, take some pictures, find some time to practice, send me some pictures of how it looks if you wanna send your dancer to class with their hair done so we can see how it holds up. That's a great idea. You can see if they need more hairspray or more bobby pins and have fun, happy practicing. Bye.